I just want everyone to take a second and just look at your shoes. Check out your shoes. Some of us have Nikes, Converse, Vans, boots, whatever you may have on. And just think about what it took for you to get those shoes. You know, how much money were they? Who got them for you? Or for whatever reason. Now just think about having to travel or walk around this campus to your car, walk home, walk across the street to go get something to eat without them. Imagine having to walk around for hours trying to transport from here to work without your shoes. And actually that is the reality of many children around the world. About 400 million children worldwide live in poverty and cannot afford shoes. So because they can't afford shoes, they walk long distances um, to get to the destination barefoot. And because of that, um, they can uh, absorb many diseases from their feet. And because of that as well, they aren't able to attend school because they require for you to have shoes. Um, I know many of you have either worn or heard of the movement Toms, as you can see my shoes, um, but never realized the impact that it's made around the world. Um, and the importance that it can make, that it's still making today. So today I will discuss the movement of Tom's one for one. And if you guys have ever purchased Tom's, this is what they're all about. And this is their movement. Um, so that's Tom's. Um, this is the founder, Blake Mikowski. Um, he had an idea that he just wanted to make a difference. So he traveled to Argentina back in 2006, and um, what he realized was that there was many children that were walking around barefoot, you know, playing barefoot, going to school barefoot if they could afford it or if they weren't allowed to go to, to school, and then just being everywhere barefoot. And he just realized that, and he thought, I can make a difference here just by donating shoes. So he wanted to help by creating Tom's Shoes which is this their logo, which means um, shoes for tomorrow. So what would happen um, with this foundation or with this movement that he created, they would match every pair of shoes that customers purchase, and they would give a pair, a brand new pair, to children over in Argentina, which is why it's called One for One. Um, uh, what began as a simple idea has now evolved to be a powerful business that not only has a trendy fashion, but um, can also provide other communities with better, better, better opportunities all over the world. This is him, um, Blake, just <clears throat> presenting this child with the new Toms and with the foundation one for one. Um, but the thing is that it just didn't end there. You know, it went beyond just giving shoes. Um, he didn't just provide shoes, but he also involved many other people in many different ways. Um, it started with the shoes, and then from there he helped uh, provide jobs. He helped restore eyesight, provide clear, clean water, and support safer births. So how did he provide jobs? He provided jobs by placing these facilities to create the shoes in the areas where it was needed. So the locals around there, um, they would have the opportunity to work in these factories or in these stores or whatever um, the job may be. Um, later then, in 2011, he created um, the eyewear which um, have helped over 275,000 people, according to their website, um, and need in over 13 countries by providing them with prescription glasses and medical treatment with every purchase of eyewear. Um, so not only did it start with the shoes, but then it, he went on to go on with uh, the eye. So this is what um, the eyewear looks like. So every time someone buys it, it's either prescription glasses, uh, sunglasses, whatever it may be, they help someone, and it's not just giving them glasses. You know, they do um, operations for to repair the eyesight or whatever, whatever is needed for them over um, over there in the other th thirteen different countries. Um, the next movement that he did was Tom's Roasting Company, which launched back in two thousand fourteen, and it has helped to provide sixty seven thousand weeks of safe water to six countries with every purchase. So with every purchase of this coffee that they provided, um, um, for each bag they would provide clean water for about a week per person. So that was another movement that started because of the shoes. And lastly, um, this was 
the last movement that they had with this that just launched this year, and for that I want to show you guys a quick video. Yeah, I thought the attention device was interesting and it sets up the topic pretty effectively. You've got a pretty clear statement of what your purpose is. I didn't really catch a, a, a strong preview, although it's not that hard to follow because it sounds like it's mostly going to structure around the 
one-for-one uh, -for -one, uh, programs and each of the individual products that they're talking about. So I guess that that's really the structure of the speech, which makes it topical in nature. I didn't hear any citation of supporting material. The beginning of the speech seemed like it's focused on explaining what the origins of the uh, program are. And the visuals, uh, especially the first few, are mostly about uh, the one guy uh, who, found, who is the founder. Uh, it doesn't really show much about the either the need for kids to have shoes, the problems that they are faced because they don't have shoes, the number of shoes that are being provided seemed to me like that would have been a, a more useful way of utilizing some visual materials, um, you know, percentages of the population without shoes or the number of diseases that kids or anybody can have because they uh, don't have shoes. I think that that might have worked a little bit more at building up a, a need on this particular point instead of another picture of that rather handsome man who's invented this whole thing and you know is you know there with all the good kids and stuff. You know he's a good looking guy. You know that sort of thing. And you know it, it, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a picture of him, but it seems like he shows up in three or four of the things that are going on there. And I'm going, I, I got it. I know what you look like. You know that sort of thing. But. You start numbering the total number of kids. I'm going, well, about 250,000 that are getting these kinds of shoes. I was like, that sounds pretty good, except this program's been around a long time and, you know, 10 years or so, maybe a little bit less than 10 years. And I'm going, 250,000, 25,000 a year. I, you know, is that, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is part of the population? I don't know. I'd have to do math to figure that out. And it seems like it, it's definitely not a bad thing that people are getting those sorts of things, but is it making enough of an effort? Is it producing these outcomes? I understood the uh, relationship with the shoes. They get a shoe. I understood the relationship with the glasses. They provide them glasses. I'm not exactly sure that they're sending them water. That doesn't seem to me like that's what they're likely to be doing in that particular situation. And I'm not exactly sure what the goodie bag is that they send to the pregnant women that helps them uh, get through these pregnancies uh, and, and survive. So I think I needed a little bit more information on some of those kinds of things. I know it's not like you buy coffee and they ship a case of Aquafina down to uh, whatever country <laughs> needs the water. That's not the way it works. But maybe there's a a part of the money goes to creating water systems there, or do purification, that sort of thing. And, and I'm sure that the, the same sort of thing applies here. It's not like uh, Tom's is, a, here's a bag, ship that out to people to buy and, and that sort of thing. And here's a bag with, that we've stuffed with stuff for expectant mothers and send that down to wherever it is that all the expectant mothers are. There's got to be something that's going on with that other bag. And I don't understand that. And I think that that's some place that you could have spent a little bit more time explaining what was going on there. All right. Thank you.